very moisturized, bitch. This is just how the hair look. That's what I don't want to run from anymore. This is what the hair want to do, so I have to let it do what it want to do. I want to learn to wear it completely shrunk. I don't want to stretch it. The hair is not meant to be long, will never be long. And it's time society came to terms with that. How you gonna tell me how I was born is ugly? Like, stop playing with me. Anyway, it's a struggle. Like, shape. I'm struggling to accept how it looks it so bad. It's shaped like that from the side. I don't <laughs> Anyway, I put this outfit on. Let me tell you right now, I can only put white boys with this hair. But I'm not mad, to be honest. Anyways, this is the back. The back was eating lotion on the stomach just to help me out a little bit more. Yeah, it's hard as fuck to do this, but I'm just gonna try, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna try. Welcome back to my channel, Mother Suckers. Well, I don't understand about these type of people. This is the exact thing about people with 4 hair to me. So they're so freaking ungrateful all the freaking time. Like, you literally are calling your hair short just because it's in curls? You literally are angry at the fact that your hair is, you know, curly. Even though it's full and thick and it's honestly very long. Because usually with 4 hair, when it's shrunk like that, it's very, very, very long. Um, when they shrink, they can have really, like hair that you wouldn't think really is even there and it'll fall down to their shoulder so if it's like that it's way down her back and she's being ungrateful and cranky because a curl is curling too tightly that's what's so annoying to me about situations like this is that like they complain so much about their 4c hair and it's all because it's curly at the end of the day, you're just cranky over a freaking curl. Like, uh, it's annoying to me, but um, I guess we could can continue. But the main thing I want to focus on is the curls. And the fact that people with 4C hair, they start calling their hair short. You know, they try to act like um, their hair looks badly and things of that nature. When one, your hair isn't short, it's just curly. Two... Why are you acting like it's so wrong for it to be curly? Like, what's wrong with a curl? You know? It's just like, the self-deprecation, I'm just not feeling it, but continue. Hey, so this video was highly requested, and y'all already knew I was going to come with this commentary. If you don't know what all happened, I'm going to be breaking everything down in this video. TikTok star Lip Gloss. <laughs> so lip gloss made a tiktok about empowering herself to wear her natural 4c hair in its shrunken state so that means no blow drying no flat ironing no stretching method no gel no nothing just wash your hair condition moisturize your hair put a bonnet on go to sleep wake up fluff it a little bit and go she then briefly mentions that she can only pull white boys in this hair and she's okay with that the video was taken from tiktok remember tiktok is a child app <laughs> the video was taken from tiktok and uploaded to twitter where a bunch of grown ass old ass adults drag this teenager for filth now some of them are new to lip gloss but a lot of us are true to lip gloss and she's been making tiktoks and commenting very doing parodies about anti-blackness, texturism, colorism, and she needs to be protected at all costs because what she's speaking is facts. But of course, people don't like facts coming from unambiguous, dark Yeah, how is it a fact that your hair's short when it's just curly? Like, what are you talking about? You, you guys always act like you must have it the worst simply because you're dark skin because oh my god dark skin must be so bad dark skin must be such a curse to have because otherwise you know if we actually deal with what you actually have it's not even that big of a deal all, all that you're saying is that your hair is shrinking and it's getting curly and it's making you upset because it somewhat looks short. That hair doesn't even look short after all that. It looks thick, it looks full, and it honestly isn't that short. You can still see that it has a good amount of length. You pull that out, it's going to be way past your shoulder. So somehow, it, you are supposed to be crying over having hair that's waist length or that's past your shoulder. That's well it's very long you know and then on top of it another thing is you aren't even expected to have long hair many people expect you to have short hair much shorter than that what if you are someone with short hair and you're expected to have long hair what about that yeah you don't think about what how it is when the shoe is on the other foot 
You only think of wh how things are when the shoes are on your feet. So narcissistic. Continue. And quote unquote unattractive women. And heavy on the quote unquote, like I know she speaks about being perceived as unattractive, having African features and 4C hair, experiencing self hating colorist men and women. And her TikTok is her personal journey to finding herself, loving herself, knowing her true, authentic self. And she's just sharing that with the world. You Why? Is it that is so much forgiveness for you hating yourself or giving in to people who hate you, but it's it be someone else who has lighter skin and has features that aren't expected on a lighter skinned individual, and somehow, somehow, we're supposed to just ignore all that and just take it, uh, take it with the tough response basically just have tough skin what about you you never have tough skin you say oh somebody said this about me oh i'm sad about my hair my hair isn't even short but i'm gonna call it short because it's curly oh my god it must be such a struggle it must be such a struggle to have 4c hair 4c hair my hair is so long past my shoulder but somehow i'm still sad because it's curly like come on now come on like, I don't get you guys. I really don't. You guys make no sense to me. And really, honestly, it's just weird. You guys are always acting like, oh, it's such a tough time having 4C hair. It is not tough to have 4C hair. Your hair texture is just a different texture. Stop being like it's such a big deal to have dark skin. It's such a big deal to have African features. What your problem is, is that you specifically, Aloha, have a problem. You were born outside of Africa and didn't understand how to accept being African. But that is not a curse. And it is not a curse to look like her. There's nothing where she's basically dealing with being the underdog in any regard, you know. To me, it's just like, you know, you say that you're supposed to deal with you deal with colorist black women and men, but you don't pay attention to the fact that people deal with anti-blackness for all sorts of people, and they don't have to be dark-skinned, you know. So that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe, comment down below, and have a great day. Bye.